Well, defensively, we held them to seven points in the third quarter, so that gives you, you know, obviously a good chance to to get a to build a lead, which we I think we were able to do, and then hold on through the fourth. It was we yes we didn't we we didn't play we didn't play well. Um, I would say you know give credit to Fort Wayne. They came out and got after it and made shots and executed their offense and you know took it to the rim hard and went to the free throw line. Um, you know they went to the free throw line 16 times, which is which is a ton for them. So um, and I'll give them a lot of credit. I wish we would have came out a little sharper and more ready to go, but uh, you worry about that in a game. You know how you have so much success the day before, but uh, again, I felt like we, you know, settled down in the third and did our thing. With that being said, Coach, how difficult is it to have two really good offensive games back to back? You know, I think it's it's tough. Um, you know, I, I think we we didn't do a good job of rebounding. You know, like we did yesterday. I mean, they had 15 offensive rebounds, which we, we, we have way more size than them. So that just, that's more tells me our effort wasn't there um, like it should have been. Um, and we, we almost had double the turnovers. We had 14 turnovers today, and we only had eight yesterday. So those two stats right there make a huge difference in the score of the game. Well, we know how good IUPUI is, especially on their home floor. It's going to take a huge effort from the whole team, and you know everyone's going to have to play well. So, um, you know, we're going to enjoy this for the night, and then tomorrow we'll get back to film and uh, you know get ready, get ready for them. Neca and Mary both had really big weekends. Uh, how pleased are you with the kind of the play in the, uh, in the uh, paint this weekend? Very good. I mean, that's we knew going in that that's where we we're going to have to take advantage of, of their size. Um, you know, I thought they both did a great job, and they were you know getting double teamed the whole time too. So, um, you know, that's that's key for us to be able to score even when teams are throwing help in there. And then, you know, Marianne Necka found the open player a few times for open threes. So um, it was uh, a good game for those two. Or weekend. That being said. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about that yesterday. Uh, you know, they've played, they played 16 games before us, so we had mo more than enough film to watch and get ready for them. And, um, you know, and IUPUI has the same coach that they've had for the last, whatever, six, seven, eight years, and he's not changing anything. They're just, they're very talented and run good, good offense. And um, one of the, you know, three-time or two-time Horizon League Player of the Year Macy Williams in the post, some really good shooters and players around her. So it's 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 going to be a monumental challenge. Tom, it's human nature for, for young men and women to see a team with a winless record. And, and so how pleased are you that a your team didn't overlook them? I mean, put on you know over a hundred yesterday and, and came out today probably a little bit flat, but were able to respond. Well, that's what I told the team after. I mean, they 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 talked about it before I got in the locker room that you know it wasn't wasn't their best performance, but I would much rather, you know, not play well, not play up to par and win than, than play the best game of the year and lose. <laughs> so um, happy to get two wins, get these games behind us. Um, two weekends to go before tournament time where we can keep getting, keep improving, keep getting better, and, uh, you know, just, just looking forward to it.